Hello, this video should be short and sweet. I just wanted to review a few things before getting you started on a scavenger hunt that should help you with your future research. First, let's leave the Georgia View Vista site and go back to the main SPSU page. For those of you who haven't visited the library site yet, just hover your mouse over Quick Links and then choose Library. Scroll down a bit to the Library's Quick Links section. You'll want to pay more attention to these as you answer the posts in the Research Library threads. For now, I'm going to click on the link for SBSU Library Catalog and give a quick overview of GilFind. This is our local catalog and it interacts with our ebooks collection and GilFind Universal, which collects the catalogs for all of the libraries in the University System of Georgia. I noticed that several of your discussion threads have talked about workplace environments and telecommuting. So let's search for telecommuting and I'm going to search for it as a subject. When the results come up, we can see that nine of these are electronic and six of them are physical books. By having those electronic books, that's helpful for those of you who are distance students. When you log into the catalog from Hornet Connect, you'll be able to link directly to those ebooks. If you're not sure what Hornet Connect is, I'll point that out in just a bit. For now, I want to look at growing the virtual workplace. When I open up the record for the book, I can see that it's available on the second floor, but that's not helpful for those of you who aren't close to Marietta. So instead, let's see what we have in the Gilfind Universal Catalog. What that does is that automatically searches Gilfind Universal for other libraries in the University System of Georgia, and it found three. It found it in Georgia State, Southern Poly, and University of Georgia. But what if I'm someplace like Savannah? Then it's not as helpful for me. But I can check the WorldCat Catalog. WorldCat collects catalogs from around the world it automatically knows that I'm in Marietta, so it's got my zip code, but it's finding books in Canada and France. When I scroll down, I see that's because it's cataloged in French. So what I want to do is I want to change that. I want to find an English cataloged version. ISBNs never change across different languages, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that ISBN, go to the advanced search, and search for that particular ISBN. That way I know I'm getting that exact book. So there were three different books cataloged for it. Let's see what this first one is. We've got the French version again. So go back to search results, check the second version. Now I've got English and look, it found the one here at Southern Poly. But we were talking before about trying to find one in Savannah. So let me type that in and see what I can find. It says there's a Savannah, New York, but I was wanting one in Georgia. And here we go. It's that Savannah Tech, Savannah State, Savannah Country Day School, etc. I wanted to point this out to you so that if you see references to a book somewhere, please don't feel as though you have to go out and purchase it. Play around with WorldCat to see if your local public or academic library has it. Also, public libraries will also do interlibrary loans. So even though as a distance student, interlibrary loan doesn't work for you here at SPSU, um, you could talk to your public library about getting interlibrary loans that way. The next thing I want to do, now that we've gone over books a little bit, is to talk about the article searching, searching for different types of journals. You're going to find that in Galileo, which is our database aggregator. Galileo collects a little over 250 databases. Because of that, it does have a federated search, which is the slash option. I don't recommend using this. It's clunky and it's very limited. It only searches a couple of databases at the get-go. Even if you click on show more databases, that's not 250 databases. You also don't have all of the options for searching for a variety of years. So that's just not as useful. Instead, I recommend browsing by subject. You're going to find a lot of the things that you're researching under science and technology, especially in communication and computer science. But look into some of the other options. Under company and industry information, you can find consumer information. Under business and economics, you can find management and information systems, as well as industries and trade. So take a look at some of these. For example, management and information systems. Here you've got business source complete, ABI inform complaint. Both of those could be very useful for those of you who are searching business practices and workplace environments. So take a look at them and see what you find. You can also browse by type if you know you want newspaper articles or things of that nature. Databases A to Z if you know you want a particular type of database. For example, I noticed a lot of you like EBSCOhost. If you click on E, and EBSCOhost databases, you can see how many of our databases are in the EBSCOhost system. Um, Academic Search Complete is the broad EBSCOhost database, but there are some of that are more narrow, such as computer source, um, newspaper source, etc. Another thing you can do in Galileo is search for a journal by its title 
or if you have a full citation, you can search for the entire citation. The last thing I'd like to talk about are the different library service systems that we have. We have LibGuides, which is literally a library research guide system. We have these set up alphabetically according to subject. We also have a few for particular courses, such as this one for IDC 6001. So here's your course. You'll find some information here. This exact video is located here. Different tabs, search strategies and source evaluation. If you need any kind of assistance trying to figure out, is this article on topic or is my veering off? This provides some information for you. Under finding articles, I've suggested a few particular databases for you and I've provided some search box widgets. These widgets will work if you log into LibGuides through Hornet Connect. If you just click on the link the way I did, it won't work for you. You'll have to get in through Hornet Connect, so be sure to do it that way. And of course, there's some other options for if you have any questions. You can contact us via the library chat. You can send me an email, however you'd like to do that. LibGuides also connects to our LibAnswer system. You can look at some of these FAQ questions, or you can click on the main link for Lib Answers. This is basically a frequently asked question site is how we're using it, but you can also ask a specific question. So let's say you're doing some of your research on telecommunications and you type that in. You're not gonna find anything because that's not how this site is set up, but if you want help researching telecommunications, this is a quick way of getting um, a question form to pull up. Just put in your question, type in your name and email, click submit. It will go to the three reference librarians here at SPSU. One of us will email you back. Um, all of the conversation remains private, so you don't need to worry about that. I know this was a quick introduction, and there really wasn't a lot of detail here. That was intentional. I have a scavenger hunt prepared for you to explore the catalogs and databases more thoroughly. It's located under the week six module. So please go in there, play around with it, see what you find. And again, please let me know if you need any assistance or help with anything. That's why I'm here.